Hey everybody, I have a video here for you tonight, and I know a lot of you are expecting a video on the Great Pyramids, and that will be coming, and I have just started the process of putting that one together, and let me tell you, sometimes I kind of, uh, I kind of surprise myself at the deep concepts that I am beginning to understand from the Egyptians, and then at the same time, I have sometimes real difficulty putting those concepts that I understand into words that are understandable. So that is a video I'm kind of struggling with, and I had to do a lot of reviewing, and I went over some text, some paragraphs of text where I was kind of individually going through words, maybe a dozen words per paragraph, and f remembering what those words actually meant, and just trying to put together the best video I can as far as that subject goes, because I think you people deserve it. And I posted that that would be my next video, but I just want to make this update because it's really easy for me to do. I have a few free alone moments here where I can talk. I was trying to make that video, but it just wasn't coming through. And I'm going to do it tomorrow when I'm not distracted. Sometimes life just gets in the way of life and you just don't have time to do the things you want. But I can make this video here. This is a video I wanted to make maybe uh, last weekend when I had this area of the world on my mind. I made a video about a temple in Thailand here. But let's go down to a place today called the Plain of Jars. And I was looking into this about four or five days ago, and then a story just popped up, so I thought this would be a good video to make. But here, can't see much for, from uh, overhead here. But this is a site here called the Plain of Jars. There are three sites. This is called Site 1. Let's go take a look at some pics, do a little reading. This is archaeology, and I will just read. This story just came out today. And I was pretty happy to see it because sometimes things that I want to do videos about, they kind of slip through the cracks. I'm not the most well-organized person. Some of my friends know that, and they kind of give me a little grief about it. But anyway, let me read here. It says, Canberra, Australia. Live Science reports that a new survey conducted in central Laos by a team of archaeologists from Laos and Australia revealed an additional 137 stone jars of 15 new sites in the rugged terrain surrounding the Plain of Jars. The giant carved stone jars are thought to have been used in ritual burials some 2,500 years ago. Researchers have suggested that bodies may have been stored in the jars until the bones could be cleaned and buried. Archaeologist Louise Schuen of Monash University said the newly mapped jars indicate that the such burial practices may have been more widespread than previously thought. The jars were probably carved in quarries and transported to the forested mountain sites. It says near the jars, the researchers uncovered stone discs carved with images of animals and geometric designs buried with the carved side face down. Decorative ceramics, glass beads, iron tools, decorative discs worn in the ears, spindle whorls, and miniature clay jars were also uncovered. But it says 2,000 of these have been found across 80 sites. Some of the sites have just a few of these, and then some of the sites have as many as 400, and they are spread across 2,100 square miles. So that is a huge, vast area, and I'm sure there's some of these kind of under the growth of the jungle, and some of these have been carted away, and some of these are up to nine feet tall and six feet in diameter. So these were quite popular, and probably each individual one took quite an effort to make. And then sometimes archaeology just runs smack dab into the face of the modern ugly world. And at the Plain of Jars in Laos here, there, well, let me just read here. It says, the explosive implications of archaeology at Laos, most puzzling site. And here is a look at some of the really huge uh, jars, they call them, in the Plain of Jars, burial vessels, maybe, a more appropriate word. It says, I'm following Belgian archaeologist Julie van de Berg around Laos remote, and then I'm not even going to attempt the name of that province, we're inspecting giant ancient vessels which are scattered through the rice paddies, forest hills, and hilltops, more than 60 sites across what is known as the Plain of Jars. Archaeologists think the jars were mortuary containers, perhaps 2,000 years old, but no one knows for sure their precise age. Who built them, or why? And it goes into the unexploded bombs at this site from maybe, you know, 60 years ago. And I'll tell you, it makes archaeology probably a little dicey in this area. 
but very interesting, huge vessels spread across a huge area in this part of the world. It says French archaeologist Madeleine Colini pioneered research at, okay, I will attempt it, Shang Kuang in the 1930s. She found jars with cremated human remains in a nearby cave with burned bones and ash. Kalani speculated the cave was a crematorium, the jars were mortuary vessels, and the fields were ancient cemeteries. Today, more than 2,000 jars have been identified across the province. And finishing here, on kind of a grim note, it says, Some dub the Plain of Jars the world's most dangerous archaeological site, and Vandenberg readily agrees. And it says, perhaps no archaeological site is as contaminated as the Plain of Jars. Two archaeologists conducted limited excavations in the 1990s without incident, but that's just luck, says Vandenberg. I've come home from the surveying and thought, I'm happy to be getting into the car and coming home. So I guess not only some pretty interesting archaeology is going on at this site, it's a pretty brave archaeology, and that's kind of another reason I wanted to make this video. Big shout out to the people doing research and what they call is the most dangerous archaeological site in the world. That uh, really compels me to make this video also. I just wanted to mention that. I know I promised you guys a different video, but this one, the story was fresh in my mind and the story just popped up today. So sometimes it all works out. Now, were these actually burial vessels? Well, there certainly seems to be some questions still. Unexploded bombs in the area, and there's also bomb craters in the area, and some of these burial vessels, as they are called, or jars, lie in pieces from bombing missions done during the Nixon administration, I believe. But that is a look at the location of the Plain of Jars. In Laos. This is an area of the world I haven't talked about specifically, but I have made a few videos for sure in this area of the world 2,500 years ago. A lot of jars, big jars left today just scattered across the land. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very nice day.